Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about working with delta tables in Spark. So in our previous videos, we have discussed about two things. One is about creating a delta tables. Okay. And also we created a data in delta format, right? So both of these, like either it can be a delta table or it can be a data with delta format, how to work with them. So that's the agenda of this video. So basically when you want to work with delta format data, it can be a delta table or it can be a delta format data. So you can use couple of APIs. One is the Spark SQL. Okay, so before going ahead, I wanted to stress that if you are not sure what is this delta format data and delta tables, please watch the previous videos then come to this video so that you will understand most out of it. Okay, so going back to our concept. So how I can work with the data which is there in a delta format or in a delta table. So firstly is we can use this spark SQL using this right. It's like a general SQL syntax. So you, like how you write a SQL queries, right? The same way you can write the SQL in double quotes and this spark SQL API will help you to issue that command on top of your data and to do the job necessary job. Not only that, you can change your notebook cell to the SQL language using the magic command SQL and you can write your SQL code directly that will work the data in a delta format. So I will show you this practically. So to show you this practically, so this is my workspace in fabric and we have created this Lakehos in our previous videos and we have created a couple of these notebooks in our previous videos if you remember. So I have already opened that Lakehos here and in this Lakehos right, you see this Mahir PRD table. This table is a delta table which we created in our previous videos, right? So I will be referring this table to issue some commands on top of that. Okay, so not only that we also have this under files under data folder. There is something called delta folder and inside this delta folder. This my data folder contains the delta format data. So we created that also in our previous videos. So how I can say whether this data is a delta format or not when you go inside a folder when you see this transactional log that is like a clear indication that it's a delta format data. So we discussed all this in our previous videos. So now two things one is the data inside this location. We will be treating it like a delta format data because that's a delta format data and another one is this is a delta table with these two we are going to work. Okay, so to do that I have already written a notebook for that. So if I go to the notebook here, right? So let me minimize this. So as I said, when you want to work with the delta tables, you can use the spark SQL API and in double quotes you can issue the command here. So if you see here, I am just executing a select star from table on top of the delta table and it will display the results to me. It has already displayed here, but let me rerun and show you that. So when I rerun this code, so the spark dot SQL, which has a select query in it, it will actually execute a select query on the delta table and it will show you the results for you. Great. You can see that we got the data from the table correctly. So now let's try to insert some row there. So I have already written a code here spark SQL and I insert command into the table. So I will be inserting a row number 12 uh, till the product ID 11. The data was there. So I'm inserting product ID 12, uh, maybe cricket kicked advanced. Okay, so that's the name of it and I will be pricing it 100. Okay, so this line of the code will insert the data and then we are using a select query there to take the data into the data frame and we are showing it. So let's run this cell once again and we'll see that whether the product ID 12 will get insert or not. So let's wait for the execution to complete here and you can see here See product ID 12 got inserted. So basically the idea here which I am trying to explain it is I can insert the data or I can execute any kind of a SQL command using this SQL API spark SQL API. Not only that if you see this right I can use this magic command percentage SQL SQL that will actually change the language of that cell into the SQL language and I can directly write a SQL code there. So what I am doing it here is the same delta table I am updating. Let's update the same row which I inserted here, right? Row number 12. I mean, that means the product ID 12. So where product ID is 12, I wanted to update the price to maybe 200. So when I run this uh, code, let me execute this code and see 
post update happen i will execute a select query and see whether it actually updates the row or not so it's you can see that it says one row affected that means row got updated now what i will be doing it here is let me add one more cell here so let me take a sql magic command and i will execute select star from mahir product table prd table so when i run this select execution on top of the table i should see the list price got updated you can see that it was 100 before for the product id 12 now it became 200 okay so if i go back to one node so basically using this sql api or using the sql magic command i can use a select syntax uh, sorry it's the sql syntax directly on top of my data so that's how you will work with the delta table so this is fine so if it is a delta table i can work directly that way but what if if i have a data in a delta format there is no table but a delta format inside a folder so how to work there so to work there right you need to use the Del delta lake api so what you have to do it is the location where you have the data you need to create a delta lake api delta table instance there and from there you can work it for example this location which i shown couple of minutes before has the delta format data so on top of that using the delta lake api i am creating a delta table there and uh, just for our understanding i am just converting that into the data frame and displaying the results to see whether it is able to read it and what is the data there right now in that delta format folder so to show that then i am actually updating the data so i am updating where id column value is 3 uh, the name column value i am changing it into the wafa right so and again i am printing the results just to, to see whether my update happened correctly or not so basically if your data in a delta format inside a folder it's not a delta table then use the delta lake api create an instance of the delta table and work on top of it so the same code i have written in my notebook if i scroll down here right if you see here so from the delta lake api i am importing everything here delta dot tables import everything and even pyspark sql functions import everything then if you see this is the folder location where i had the delta format data which i have shown you guys right so that location i am passing it a spark session also i am passing it into delta table dot for path function that will create a delta table instance so once you have the delta table i am trying to display the results here okay yes, to see what is there in the table right now so what i will be doing it let me remove this code for now and let me execute only till here and see whether we are able to read the delta format folder and display the results or not so remember that when you are displaying it you should convert into the data frame then you can display so let's wait for the code execution to complete here you can see the results right now we have two rows id2 id3 id and name columns okay so now what i will do is maybe i will update where id value 2 i will update the name to maybe mahir basha okay so what i am doing it here is delta table which i created using a update function i am giving a condition there id equals to 2 then set name column value to mahir basha and then once again display the delta table so let's run this code now and see the results code executed successfully i can see previously the data was here now the row number 2 name became mahir basha because i have updated it using the delta lake api so if you are data in a delta format but it's not a delta table it is in a folder then use delta lake api create a delta table instance there and use a update function or there are many other functions with that you can play around okay going back to our one note so now like whenever we are doing any kind of a updates inserts deletion of rows whatever you perform on a delta tables right basically everything will get logged into the transaction log folder which i shown you right in our previous video also i told about it so the, that means whatever the changes happening on the table we are storing it somewhere securely and that capability helps us to navigate to the history of the changes so previously how my table was before the current state i can check that because the transactional log holds everything inside of it okay so how to navigate to the previous history so for that right you need to take the history of the table first and examine the history and accordingly you can do that 
okay so if this transactional log what it is if it is not making sense if i go back to the lake host once again and as i told right so i am inside a my data folder right and when i am inside a my data folder you see this delta log so that is a transactional log folder it will keep on track all the changes what is happening on your table whether it is insert row delete row update row everything so let's try to see the history of this location uh, even we can check it for the table also and see how to navigate to the previous versions so if i go back here right so see for example i want to navigate to the history of a delta table i can simply write this so he describe history then the table name delta table name so delta table name so when the cell executes you can see the history and you can see especially the history column when you query with this history column date you can look how the data was looking before okay i will show you that even the timestamp column also you can use it so what i can do so i am i am trying to look the history of my folder where the delta format data is there so let me run this code now and see the history so there are totally four versions and this is the latest version if you see so just know we have did some updates and all right previous version previous version so now i wanted to see what is the version here or what is the version here how the data look like there so to see that right what i can do i can use this kind of a code where spark read delta format data version of for the option function version of and pass the which version you want to see and also pass the delta format folder location so that particular version data will come into this data frame and we can display that data frame directly there so if i run this right the version 3 here let's see so that time it is mahir and wafa right see now if i see the version 4 so let me check the version 4 that is the latest version how the data look like it would have changed the name to mahir basha for some reason i want to see version 2 like how it was looking like that time so if i see that right so version of 2 if i run that i can see the previous version 2 so let's wait for the code to run here you can see previously it was mahir and mahir okay so that's how it will look like so and not only that basically you can use the time stamp column and mention the time stamp too even that is also possible so i am not going to practically execute that time stamp one so you can try that as a homework so the whole summary of this video is we can work with the delta format data if it is a delta table if it is a delta format folder both the cases we can work to work we can use the spark sql api where i can use a sql kind of a syntax directly or use a sql magic command and issue your select queries or update queries any sql kind of a query if your data is in a delta format folder not a table then create a instance of a delta table using a delta lake api and on top of that you can issue the update or any other functions to work with the data there and since it is a delta format data be it may be a delta format folder or be it may be a delta format table you can track the history because the transactional logs will be there and that history you can see it using a describe history then the path or the delta table name and based upon history based upon a version column or a time stamp column you can actually retrieve the previous versions and try and travel and see the information how it used to look like before so all this is possible that is a whole summary of this video I hope you got a better idea how to work with a delta format especially as a delta table or a delta format table sorry as a delta format folder so thank you for listening this video i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more videos thank you have a nice day